What's going on here today, Leo? Well, this is a, a solidarity rally to, to support the Chicago teachers who are on strike. So here we are, September 11th, 2012, Baltimore City, outside Polytechnic Institute and Western High School, traditionally some of the best public schools in the city of Baltimore. But remember the Red River Valley. Students out today, a lot of beepers, and people are standing here for support of, of the teachers in Chicago. loved you so true. How can you support teachers? Yeah, we've got support our brothers and sisters in Chicago. Stop Race to the Top, which is a federal program that sort of forces school states and school districts to compete against each other for funding. So that if your school isn't doing well, you're going to receive less funding from the federal government. Anything you want to say to the people in Chicago? Yeah. We're 100% in support of you. The teachers of Baltimore stand with the teachers of Chicago because the fight is all one. Class size issue, the teaching to the test issue, it's all a race issue and it's here as well as there and we have to stand together if we want to fight this crazy bossage. Hey. Both major political parties are in tune with the Bill Gates agenda. Jacking up class sizes, turning a blind eye to growing segregation, doing away with job security, and trying to run schools on the cheap. It's an independent movement that is, is proclaiming its autonomy from both of these political parties and sticking to some very specific demands. Specifically, we're saying fairness for schools that have a lot of black and Latina children, schools that are poor and underfunded. The strike is explicitly saying we need the system to serve the most neglected schools rather than establishing a system of competition and stratification where certain people get really good education and certain others don't by virtue of where they live or what they look like or who their parents are. I don't support them. They yeah. go to work. Pardon me? They should go to work. Okay. Why do you think that as a teacher? I go to work every day. I'm not 100% happy. We still got to do what we got to do. No. Are you a Baltimore City teacher? Yeah. And you, and you think... It's terrible. We still go to work. Still go to work. Yeah. You think it's important to the kids have an education regardless? Yeah, the kids. What are those kids do? You, do? do you think they have a grievance that's legitimate, but that they should still go to work? They should go to work. If they, if they get paid for performance and they didn't perform, go perform. Go do what you got to do. Their argument is, is that they want less emphasis on performance and more emphasis on smaller classrooms. They want their money. Okay. That's what it is. See ya. Anything you want to say to the people in Chicago? Yes. Keep fighting because there's always hope and no matter what, no matter that people are telling you that no, we're not going to give you this, keep fighting because the power to teach is strong and everyone needs to know that. And we're here to support you because we know that you put a lot of hard work and dedication in teaching students. And many of your students, or many students nationwide or globally, have become successful. And it's all because of the teachers. Dare to struggle. Dare to win. Lots of beepers, no question. Anything you want to say to the teachers of Chicago? I support them and we're together in solidarity. I'm just really proud of them. I'm glad to see what they're doing. I think it's really needed. Teachers all over the United States need that kind of action. And we wish them the best of luck. Yes. We're very proud of you. Just how you shape lives in the classroom, you're paving the way for future teachers as well. Very proud of those folks out there. Keep it up. Thank you.
Anything you want to say to the teachers of Chicago? Your fight is our fight. We're out here to support you. We're facing the same issues here and in other cities like Philadelphia, Detroit, New York, Los Angeles. This is about working people. It's about unions. It's about the kids. Thanks. Thank you for standing up and doing this and uh, starting the momentum, hopefully, to stop this horrible education reform that's taken hold of the whole country. So it's, it's a pleasure to be able to uh, speak with uh, some of you in Chicago. Uh, you're doing a great job giving leadership to uh, the struggle that we all need to engage in. And uh, it's very inspiring. We're here supporting you today. And I think that your fight is really a fight against the whole ruling class. You've got Rahm Emanuel there, you've got billionaires on the school board, and they want to cheapen education. And we care about what's good for young people, and we care about some of us, like myself, about getting rid of capitalism, which is the breeding grounds for all these horrible attacks on, on our young people. So keep, keep strong, and we're for you. Thank you. And you are a Baltimore teacher, aren't yeah, yeah, you? Teach right here. It's right here. Here comes some more troopers. Interesting comment yesterday in regard to charter schools on this issue and how charter schools are an arm of privatization of schools and an element of gentrification of an urban area. Charter schools have a lot of different faces, so it's really complicated. But if you look at the effects on a national level, you see just the, um, well, I would say gradual, but it's actually quite rapid sort of resting of public education away from the public sphere and putting it into the hands of these private controllers. So even though some charter schools are really good and, and do good work, oh, and yeah. they're still schools, and that's, and that's important, um, the overall effect is to undermine the idea of education as a public resource that everyone has access to. Which is the backbone of this country in regard to a middle class, higher education. It's, you know, if you have a capital democracy, the only thing that could make a difference is your degree of education. And we are a capital democracy, if that. <laughs> Okay, signing out for today. That's a nice ending.